Hey guys, how's it going? So in today's video, I have this unique product by Oxbeam. What it essentially is, is LED strips for your vehicle. But personally, I don't know where I'm gonna put them yet on my 4Runner. Uh, what I'm gonna do in this video is just kind of show you guys what it is, plug it into uh, my battery and show you how bright it is. So they have two separate options. This one's an RGB option, so it comes with a remote control. It comes with your RGB controller, a switch for on and off, and then all it does is just plug into positive and negative, and then it's on. Uh, it is IP67 resistant, so they market this as like a truck bed light, so you could put it around the bed rails of your truck and turn it on whenever you need light in your truck bed. Or for the 4Runner, I was thinking maybe you could put it like in your cargo rail area, and I'll show you guys what I mean about that in a little bit. So like I said, IP67 water resistance. Here's your controller. You can mount it up, I'm sure, many different ways because it comes with a bunch of hardware in here. And parts of the mounting hardware that it comes with are little tap screws and little self-tapping screws and brackets to hold it into place, some little zip ties. So you could put it inside the interior of your vehicle, like under your seats if you want like underglow type thing, maybe in your engine bay area if you need light in your engine bay. You could mount it up to an actual switch on your dashboard. I mean, the possibilities to me are endless. And uh, that's kind of why I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. But I wanted to get this video out for them since they sent this for me. So like always, guys, I'll leave everything down in the description for you all. Uh, they are providing a discount code for the next 10 days. So I'll leave all that down there for you as well. These are 60 inches long. This one, like I said, is the RGB option. And they also have another one that's just pure white but you can do pure white on this too. So, you know, it just depends if you want more colors or not. As you can tell right here, this is just a 3M tape. So you, all you have to do, like if you're gonna put it on the interior of your 4Runner or car in your trunk or something like that, all you have to do is just pull back the 3M uh, siding and then just place it there. And here's the actual lighting strip itself. So it's a nice black color. So if you do have it, you know, in a truck bed or something like that, it's gonna blend in really, really well. So like I said, I was just gonna plug it into the battery to show you guys how bright it is. So I'm just using all the stock wiring. I'm gonna turn it on real quick with the switch. And that's just regular white light. And it is in the afternoon time right now, so it is fairly bright outside. And you can tell these things are actually pretty bright. So if you do elect for the RGB option, we'll go ahead and turn it to red. Green, yellow, orange, blue, whatever you want. Uh, it'd be cool, you know, if you have red in the bed of your truck or, you know, you're camping or something like that. You have this in the cargo area of your 4Runner or Jeep or whatever it is, and uh, you don't want it super bright white light. You know, you could have it maybe in a nice dimmer orange just to give you some glow, you know. And, of course, they have all the dancing options and all that typical crazy stuff that RGB does. But what's also cool is you could turn the brightness down and it'll flash at you when it's at its lowest setting. So that means, hey, I'm at the lowest. Or you can turn the brightness up as well and now it's at its brightest. So very cool concept. Uh, like I said, I'm not sure where I wanna put this yet on the vehicle. Uh, if you have a truck, it'd definitely be cool for a truck bed. If, if you know your truck's an older truck and it doesn't come with the uh, wiring back there like a lot of new trucks do essentially i would personally put electrical tape around this even though it's ip67 uh it kind of just plugs in you just match the two arrows on this and then it just plugs into that and then this would sit probably somewhere near your vehicle and then your red is for positive it does have an inline fuse right here and then yellow is your negative so if you want to run it straight to your battery you may have to add some wiring it's about 16 gauge i believe uh, by the thickness of it. And uh, you would just have to run that either to your battery or for the 4Runner, we'll go into the back real quick. So if you imagine it back here and you're able to, you know, wire positive, negative into like a cigarette or an AC adapter, when you're camping or something like that, you could just plug it into here, control it by your switch to turn it on and off. And since it is the 3M backing, you could just lace it, you know, nice, right here on your vehicle and you can only do one for one side or if you want to put two on the other side and then since this wiring is long enough when you know you uh when you take it out of the zip tie you could just run the wire under your carpet real quick and then just 3m it 
to the side of the vehicle. So then when you're camping back here and you need to get your stuff, if you're in a remote area or whatnot, just turn it on and you have all the access back here. Then you have a lot of light back here instead of just for me, for the forerunner, these stock dome lights. So yeah, guys, pretty cool product. Thanks Oxbeam for sending it out. Uh, like I said, you could get it with the RGB controller or just regular white light. Uh, it could be used for truck beds, engine bays, inside the car, uh, cargo area, what, whatever you want it for. A uh, garage lighting, if you just want to plug it into an AC outlet uh, in your garage. So I'll leave everything down in the description again. Discount codes down there as well until December 29th or so. And uh, it is on Amazon, so you guys can get it fairly quickly and do all the secure checkout that you guys like to do on Amazon. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more uh, Toyota stuff and 4Runner stuff, and I'll catch you in the next one. All right, see you later.